Hey, it's Sizzling Popcorn. In this video, we're going to take the EA7 Edgley Optica. Uh, we are currently at Auckland, New Zealand, at uh, Auckland International. This is the default airport, but uh, Flight Beam will be coming out with uh, their version of Auckland very shortly, within the next uh, week or so. Uh, so, looking forward to that. We'll then revisit the airport, maybe in a different aircraft. In a live stream but today uh we're in the uh orbix ea7 and we're going to take a look at auckland landmarks by orbix that just released over the weekend and uh, it it goes for 9.99 so ten dollars us on uh, orbix uh, direct which if you use uh, orbix central their application to you to download um all your your sceneries and buy directly from there uh yeah so that's uh ten dollars us and if you have the new zealand mesh uh you'll then get a, a 25 percent discount uh so they've got a auckland new zealand mesh bundle so with the mesh and the um the city pack you don't have to buy both of them together if you've already got one so you you know just by adding the other one, you get that discount of uh, 25%. So uh, we're going to take off uh, very shortly here. But just want to let you know, there there's going to be a... This video might be like 15, 20 minutes long. Because we're just going to go right through the city. What they say here is that, as with all our landmark titles, we've made an extensive enhancement to the entire area, including custom ortho imagery terraforming and improving the placement of vegetation generic buildings last but not least along the entire coastline from buckland beach in the southeast to wenuape airport in the northwest we have exposed the extensive tidal mud flats and beaches that are covered by water in the default scenery so we're going to take a look at that uh you've got uh the helipads at the ASB Bank Center in Auckland City Hospital. Those are landable. I'm not going to try that in the EA7. Uh, that, that would require precision here. <laughs> but, uh, all right, so let, let's go take off and let, let's see what, the, what this looks like. Take off gear. Is there gear on here? No. It's like now I'm in uh, into jets and airliners. So then I I think of the the gear, and then other times I completely forget about it. So I do again. I have the New Zealand mesh on, so we'll also see that at the same time. Air Kanai Alpha Alpha Lima one seven zero one. Continue for west departure. And let's uh, bring up the uh, VFR map, just so we know where we are on the map. Alright, so we're going to turn in that first uh, custom waypoint is the uh, Buckland uh, Buckland beaches. So we're going to take a look at the 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 beaches and the tidal uh, mud flats that they've exposed. And I like the uh, EA7 when it comes to uh, to flying and when you're you're flying VFR and trying to see like scenery and stuff. It's uh, great. With the the glass cockpit all around. Air Canada Alpha Alpha Lima one seven zero one. Did you copy? And we're not going to worry about ATC. Yeah. 
But you can already see in the distance, you got some, uh, some landmarks. Go on the outside. So also on the uh, on the store page they say welcome to the city of sales or Tamaki Mako Ro it's Maori it's Maori name Auckland hardly needs an introduction given its stunning bayside location on the north island of New Zealand and its famous buildings and structures No wonder it is frequently ranked among the, the world's most uh, livable cities. And yeah, you can see here already in the uh, the river. So the, this is the uh, this would be some of the. Uh, the mud flats. Gonna reduce speed because I definitely want to get down to lower. Because I've never seen this in a scenery or like landmarks uh, pack uh, before. Where they actually. Yeah, you can see the sand and the mud. And over here, you can see the they would have uh, redone this bridge. I need to do a great job with their landmark packs, really bring the the city alive, and uh, you know, especially the the buildings, and then uh, adding the details of like logos and stuff. Just uh, it just adds to the immersion when you're flying around VFR. Even even if you're like IFR flying in, if you're flying by this area, you're gonna see it from uh, as you're uh, coming into to Auckland International.
We'll actually go back over, but I wanted to see this, the, the texture. Yeah, it looks nice. Let's go back to uh, Buckland Beach. Actually, that sailboat right there is from uh, Seafront Simulations. They're AI uh, vessels. Although that's uh, satellite imagery for the uh, for the marina thing is the the quality is a lot better because normally that stuff gets faded and it's like right underwater. But the, they did a good job with it. And look look at the uh, look at the details here. And as I'm like flying, it seems like you can see the waves coming in. But I'm not sure if it actually is or if it's just a, like an illusion. So we're gonna fly back in, into the uh, into the city. So they're saying that in addition to the in addition to the iconic uh, sky tower and Auckland Harbor Bridge, we've modeled the entire downtown waterfront in full detail from the historic ferry building to Obson Wharf. In the CBD, you'll find the tall towers of the Pacifica PwC and seascape and to the east the imposing structure of the Auckland War Memorial Museum so let's see if we can find those should be able to but I've never been to Auckland so that's that's what I like about this flight simulator is that it's so visual I feel like sometimes I feel like a travel agent showing you guys these uh these different DLCs that you can get and uh, you know just traveling around the world in a plane which the plane I, I wouldn't be able to afford and to be f you know to be traveling like this I wouldn't be able to afford unless it was uh, you know in my basement for you know 10 15 20 25 bucks It's a lot cheaper in the simulator than it is to go in real life.
The port areas downtown also received careful attention with uh, custom models for industrial buildings and container cranes, the Marine Rescue Center, and a diverse collection of ships and boats. The city's terrain is dotted with dozens of ancient vol volcanic cones, some of which have uh, hilltop uh, points of interest, like the obelisk on One Tree Hill, the beacon on Mount Eden, and the weather station at Victoria Hill. What they have as key features, uh, high detail custom landmarks include Auckland Harbour Bridge, Sky Tower, Auckland War Memorial Museum, Eden Park Stadium, and the entire downtown waterfront between the Ferry Building and Hobson Wharf, or Hobson Wharf. More than 100 medium detail custom buildings showcase the unique architecture of historic and new Auckland. Several buildings with uh, rooftop pads with additional landing areas on moored vessels and at the uh, Mechanics Bay heliport. So actually there's more than just the ASB Bank Center and Auckland City Hospital that have uh, landing uh, helipads. So that's, you know, if if you're into like the, the H135 uh, or 145 or some of the other heli helicopters in the sim, Hey, that's a nice bonus uh, feature there. Animated uh, features on both water and land. Custom ortho imagery for downtown Auckland and the entire White Mata Harbor waterfront. Many enhancements to the city and surrounding area, improved vegetation and building placements, static boats, vessels, cranes, antennas, etc. Extensive terraforming and shoreline adjustment across the uh, coverage area. Custom night uh, lighting based on uh, real world uh, photography. But yeah, this, to me, this looks stunning. Let's uh, get down closer as we get into uh, downtown here. Yeah, that tower there reminds me of the, uh, the CN Tower in Toronto. I know it's it's not that, but uh, that would be probably a Sky Tower. Yeah, look at the uh, the shipyard here. The containers. And they actually put a... That I know is not uh, Oceanfront Simulations. That's uh, Orbix that put that in. And I'm guessing this would be Hobson Wharf.
Yeah, really nice. The cranes, uh, yeah. This is nice, really nice. And I, I'm not getting any any stuttering, nothing like that. Uh, put in a cruise ship. PWC. I think I saw Deloitte. Where's uh, Where's the EY? Sky City. Got some cranes for development downtown. Crown Plaza. Oh yeah, you can see a helipad there. That must be the hospital. Barrow. There's more landmarks on the other side. You can tell because it's sticking right out. Nice bridge. But again, I like this, how the, uh, the beaches are exposed and the uh, they call them the mud flats. Like this, all the mud flats here. It's a big, big area. So you're definitely going to see this as you're approaching uh, Auckland International. But it, you can see down here, you can see the traffic and then you can see cars still whizzing by. But the whizzing by would be from... Uh, I would say from a Sobo and then the actual traffic that's stuck there would be from uh, from Orbix. It's probably from satellite imagery.
So after filming this, I actually found out that I was recording an FLV rather than an MP4. So I wasn't able to bring it into a Premiere Pro in order to edit the video. So I had to convert it over to MP4. And while doing so, I've lost the last, what, like five minutes or so of, uh, of audio. So there's, uh, there's still, we still got a bit more time here until we get to the airport. But the sounds are not the important thing here. It's the views of the uh, Auckland uh, landmarks. Again, I want to emphasize again that uh, I, I love, I love how they've uh, opened up the uh, the beaches and the um, uh, like the coastlines, that kind of stuff. The uh, the the mud flats. Uh, I just love that um, because. If you're in a default, that's all water. It's all covered in water. So enjoy the the rest of this. Again, uh, sorry for the, the the lack of audio here, but that is not the important thing. The important thing is the the visuals. And if so, I'm gonna leave you with that. If you do like this video, make sure you smash that like button. If you are new to the channel, uh, consider subscribing as uh, I do some uh, some streams, multiple streams throughout the week, and uh, then also some videos, some previews. We got some uh, some previews of uh, some new airports coming out, and uh, much more news, reviews, everything. And, uh, and if you ever want to, you can uh, join uh, a live stream and actually uh, join in the flight. And uh, I'd be glad to, to fly with you. But uh, thanks a lot for watching. Happy flying. And uh, keep watching till the end. Uh, we'll be uh, reaching the airport uh, very shortly here.